Hi everyone, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to the channel. Ah, uh, and it's been a while. Um, I, yeah, well, the weather here in in the UK or where I am in the UK, which is South East England, um, has been bloody marvellous over the next, over the last few days. And being as it's the cricket season, and if you've been watching the channel, you know I like the cricket. So I've been out and watching cricket and stuff like that and i've had some friends down from scotland and yeah, yeah it's been loads of things loads of things going on and unfortunately i haven't had a lot of time to be at the bench however um i finished the pie van and i'm going to put a few pictures and stuff on after i've after i've done this and you can see the that and also i've been shopping and i've got one or two Four new kits for the stash. So, without further ado, let's get over and uh, have a look at the bench. Well, I finally got the pie van done after a fashion. Um, yeah, not my best build, but then parts were missing. But hey ho, it's done. It can go on the shelf and uh, we move on to the next lot so uh, hold on a second and we'll have a look at what we've got so yeah uh, decided to get hold of this um, I've actually got um, the Italeri version of this which is the later one this is the Esky, Esky version of the Harley Davidson WLA, WLA45 I actually had one of these, um, not the military one, but I had, um, I had a, <laughs> yeah, my first Harley Davidson was a, a WLA motored uh, chopper, and um, if I can find the pictures, I'll, I'll put them in after I finish doing this review, just so that you can see. But I bought this, obviously it's been, you know, it's been used and set land and all that got it off of off of ebay uh the decals are all a bit uh yeah i don't think they'll be any good but we we can see i mean you might be able to rescue them um if i need them and then it's got the esky instructions which are fairly straightforward <coughs> got the sprue count and uh well, a fairly straightforward build actually um, the good thing with this one is is actually the benefits in the in the actual build itself the parts are with a used kit the parts have been taken off some of the parts have been taken off and the seller actually sent a bag with the uh, load of bits in that looks like he's been he had some sort of project in mind but um like i say i've got the the italeri version of this so this will probably be used potentially if i decide to go ahead and build something similar to the the bike i had but, but i'm not sure yet but it was a bargain price i couldn't turn it down given this given the kit if, if it's the itinerary one it's about 50 60 pounds over here and i got this one for about 20 quid so yeah it just had to be bought um so that that's the first thing that i bought sorry i was trying to find somewhere to put it um the next thing I bought was this Airfix kit. I've, I've wanted this for a long time. I've, I've often seen it and thought, actually, I wouldn't mind building that. Um, as you can see, it's a RNLI, or Royal National Lifeboat Institute, I think it is. A uh, seven-class lifeboat, and it's in 172nd scale. Again, it's been previously loved. Uh, but it's all complete all the parts are in the bag instructions are complete and 
it's a bit it's a bit battered but but yeah um the reason i wanted to get this is um a friend of mine uh had an acquaintance who uh recently passed away over here and uh, as part of her uh, sort of will um she made a donation to the royal national lifeboat institute and had her name put onto the side of a, a lifeboat as part of that so i just thought yeah well that sort of thing's in my head i'll get this and uh i'll have a go at that i don't build ships <laughs> this might be a first so next you'll like this not a lot it's another airfix kit this is one that I've, I've often seen and thought actually that'd be that's a cool aircraft um this is a super freighter a bristol mark 32 super freighter it's by airfix it's 170 seconds scale it is sealed bought this for a bargain price again over here on ebay and uh what it is, it's a car. It's essentially it's a car transporter. I don't know if there's any pic. There aren't any pictures of it doing its job. Um, the nose of the fuselage opens, and there's a you know a car ramp, and the car drives up and goes in. And uh, I think it carried up to two cars, something like that. But it was used over here mainly to transport the rich and famous with their cars over the channel onto the continent um and yeah i mean that, that's that's how i remember it back in the day but uh yeah so i've got that that's in the stash now and next you're gonna love this now this this kit i was trying to get hold of because i'd seen it at on on one of my previous builds and given the recent um coronation I thought, yeah, I've got to get that, and eventually found it. So, State Coach of England, it's uh, Life Like Hobby Kits, and it's actually a replica of uh, the State Coach that was used when the Queen was um, crowned, coronated, I don't know, whatever they call it. Um, so, it's the State Coach. It's Lifelike Hobbies kit number 9670 and it, as you can see it is sealed. A bit battered, again it's been previously loved. Um, and it's obviously it's the same company that make the, the Tally Ho passenger coach. So I've got that. Now that's, that, I think that's going to be quite an interesting build. Um, but I don't know what I'll be doing with that apart from just building it according to the picture you've got eight horses and a carriage and the four um, I don't know what they are um, how, how, they, how did they describe them I can't remember coachman I don't know but anyway I got that as well and that again got that for 20 quid I thought it was a bit of a bargain um, given that it's sealed so obviously it's been factory sealed um and it's been sat there for however donkey's years this was made i don't know i don't know when this was made i mean if it was the same as the tally ho coach it's probably i don't know 1970s 1980s i suppose but anyway so there are the additional bits to the to the stash hope you enjoyed that it's a little bit of an introduction of what what's going on and uh I'll get back to you soon um i'll be on to finishing off the spitfire next as the pie van is done anyway thanks for watching and listening to my drivel and uh i'll see you on the next one take care out there have a nice day